Polar Vortex. Cold winter will come sooner than you think. Winter is a time of enchantment and wonder with snow-covered landscapes and the scent of freshly baked gingerbread in the air. However, this magical season can be disrupted by an unwelcome visitor, the polar vortex. According to some scientists, Canada and North America may experience an exceptionally cold end of October in the beginning of November, transforming winter into a polar nightmare. When the polar vortex strikes, even the simplest activities become challenging. Cozy movie nights, once enjoyed with a single warm blanket, may now require an entire mountain of coverings to keep the freezing cold at bay. Building snowmen and forts, once a joyous pastime, becomes a battle against frozen fingers and numbness. It might become essential to wrap yourself in scarves and use them as a shield against the cold. The worst part? Forecasting the spread of a polar vortex is no walk in the park, and who knows where else it's going to hit. So prepare yourself for the polar vortex. It's on its way. What is a polar vortex? The concept of the polar vortex can be better comprehended by visualizing it. Essentially, it is a term used to describe the large-scale winter circulation that occurs in both the northern and southern hemispheres. This 3D image effectively showcases the polar vortex's true composition, illustrating the connection to lower altitudes and pressure systems. The polar vortex, a phenomenon that occurs in the Earth's atmosphere, is not confined to a specific level but extends high up into the atmosphere. The lowest layer of the atmosphere is known as the troposphere, where all weather events take place. However, above the troposphere lies the stratosphere, a deeper and drier layer that is home to the ozone layer. Due to these differences, it is common to separate the polar vortex into two parts, the upper stratospheric and lower tropospheric regions. Monitoring these parts separately is crucial as they each have unique roles to play, but it is also important to understand their connection. The upper part of the polar vortex, which exists in the stratosphere, appears more symmetrical and circular as it spins at higher altitudes with fewer obstacles. On the other hand, the lower structure of the polar vortex in the troposphere is much more uneven and frequently disrupted due to the influence of terrain, such as mountains and strong pressure systems that act as obstacles. Essentially, the polar vortex can be likened to a massive cyclone that encompasses the entire North Pole and extends down to the mid-latitudes. It is interconnected through all atmospheric levels from the ground up, but its shape can vary at different altitudes. Understanding the complexities of the polar vortex and its differentiation between the upper and lower parts is crucial for meteorologists and scientists to more accurately predict weather patterns and their potential impact on the Earth's climate system. Strong versus Weak Polar Vortex You can picture the polar vortex as a powerful force with two distinct personalities, each with its own weather agenda. When the polar vortex is strong and stable, it's like a superhero protecting the Arctic Circle. This means the polar circulation and jet stream are in full force, keeping frigid air locked away and offering us milder conditions in the United States. Jet streams surround the polar vortex acting as a wall. Watch our previous video on the polar vortex if you want to know more about this shielding mechanism. But watch out! When the polar vortex is weak or disrupted, it's like a wild stallion on the loose. The jet stream gets all wobbly and can't contain the cold air any longer. Brace yourself, because now that chilly air breaks free from the polar regions and goes god knows where, snowflakes will dance and winter will be colder than ever. Now, if you're yearning for a winter wonderland, keep your fingers crossed for a weak polar vortex. But how exactly is one such a weak vortex formed? Weakening causes an Aeolus 2021. An occurrence called a sudden stratospheric warming can disrupt the polar vortex, and this is what occurred in 2021. While sudden stratospheric warmings happen every couple of years to some extent, that event was considered significant and less common. Such noteworthy events caused the powerful wind encircling the polar vortex to weaken or reverse, 
resulting in a rapid rise in the temperature of the polar stratosphere by as much as 50 degrees Celsius over a few days. Can you believe it? Because these events can lead to extreme weather in Europe and North America, they are of both scientific and practical importance. However, the underlying processes are not yet fully comprehended, and until recently measuring the wind from space, which is necessary to assess and monitor such a large-scale event, presented significant technical challenges. Fortunately, in 2021, the unique capabilities of ESA's ALIS satellite provided valuable insights into the polar vortex and its destabilization. ALIS was the first satellite to directly measure Earth's winds from space. Its innovative approach involved emitting ultraviolet light pulses from a laser to measure the Doppler shift of scattered light, allowing for the profiling of horizontal wind speeds in the lowermost part of the atmosphere. Take a look at this series of mind-blowing plots. These show the polar vortex behavior from a period that goes from December 2020 to February 2021. As you can see, it is a really dynamic object, and its changes are signaled by the arrow directions and colors. The latter tells you about the wind direction. Although ALIS primarily focused on the lower atmosphere, it still detected the effects of the stratospheric polar vortex jet. This was significant because such observations hadn't been made on a global scale before. Previously, our understanding of these phenomena relied on localized measurements, temperature observations, computer models, and assimilative analyses. With the data coming from ALIS, scientists were able to examine the process of sudden stratospheric warming events through direct observational studies. These events led to changes in wind structure, which in turn affected the circulation patterns in the troposphere. As a result, cold air masses from the poles could more easily move towards lower latitudes. Interestingly, ALIS showed that in the case of a weak polar vortex, North America could witness colder weather compared to Europe. However, Europe has also experienced episodes of cold air reaching far south, resulting in heavy snowfall in Spain. Want to know what the weakening of a polar vortex can actually do to a city? Here are some effects you might want to be aware of. You know, just in case. Hey, before moving on, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can improve it for you, the viewer. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by making sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. Polar Vortex Effects a weak polar vortex can have several significant effects on a city and its surrounding areas. Though these occurrences are rare, imagine for a moment that your city is hit by the worst polar vortex to ever occur. This scenario would result in erratic and extreme temperature fluctuations. Even in regions where cold weather is not the norm, the city may experience unusually cold periods. Conversely, unexpected warm spells during winter are also possible. As temperatures drop, the demand for heating increases as people try to stay warm during extended extreme winter-like periods. This surge in demand could put stress on energy infrastructure, leading to higher energy costs for both residents and businesses. However, that is not the only consequence to worry about. While building a snowman or having a snowball fight can be enjoyable, snow and ice accumulation can significantly disrupt transportation systems. Hazardous road conditions may prevent individuals from reaching work on time or attending festive events such as Christmas dinners. Airports may experience flight cancellations or delays due to the need for de-icing. Additionally, unseasonably cold weather can cause damage to crops and plants, especially if they have already begun to bloom or sprout. This is particularly detrimental to agriculture and farmers who rely on successful harvests for their livelihoods. Furthermore, during the weakening of a polar vortex, it is advised to stay home as prolonged exposure to extreme cold can pose health risks, including frostbite and hypothermia. Vulnerable populations such as the elderly or those experiencing homelessness are particularly susceptible to these dangers. However, it is important to note that while a weak polar vortex can contribute to these effects, other factors such as local geography, infrastructure, and preparedness also play significant roles in how a city responds to such conditions. Additionally, extreme polar vortex events are extremely rare, according to historical records. 
Therefore, while the weather may be cold, there is likely no need to panic. Almost three years after Aeolus provided us with this crucial piece of information on the polar vortex, we find ourselves again on the verge of a disruptive polar vortex. Over the next few days, a cold pool will intensify over the northern US and Canada. 2023 Weak Polar Vortex As we head into the final month of autumn, winter weather is making its presence known across Central North America. Already states in the deep freeze such as Idaho, Montana, Wyoming and the Western Dakotas are experiencing snow and freezing temperatures. However, the rest of the contiguous US is still enjoying unseasonably warm days, with temperatures reaching the mid to upper 80s. This stark contrast in weather can be attributed to an Arctic front that is set to move through the country over the coming days. While a significantly warmer air mass currently blankets the rest of the US, this front will bring much colder temperatures as it progresses south and east over the weekend and into early November. A temperature anomaly map shows just how extreme this cold blast will be, with temperatures being much colder than normal during this period. According to the official NOAA temperature forecast, the cold air anomaly will overspread the US from the north, impacting the entire country. The eastern United States will initially remain relatively warmer than usual, but this warmth is expected to be displaced as the Arctic cold wave continues to progress. This weather phenomena serves as a reminder that winter is just around the corner and prompts the need to prepare for the colder months ahead. As the Arctic front makes its way across the United States and Canada, as a consequence of the weak polar vortex, it is important to stay informed about the changing weather conditions and take appropriate measures to stay safe and comfortable. It might be time for you to enjoy your favorite hot chocolate. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you think this winter will be colder than last year? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time on the channel.